Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent Macquarie. This is Africa 54. Residents in northeastern Nigeria remained shaken on Friday after at least 36 people were killed in multiple suicide attacks at a mosque and a residential building in Bono State, according to police and medical sources. Bono State is the birthplace of the Boko Haram insurgency and has been the focus of attacks by suspected members of the terrorist group. Uh, some 1,000 killings have been attributed to Boko Haram since President Mohamedou Buhari took office in May. Well, now Cameroon and its neighbors are welcoming America's decision to send troops to help track Boko Haram militants in that region. Wednesday's White House announcement came amid an increasing number of suicide attacks on civilians in border areas of Nigeria, Cameroon and Chad uh, alongside Niger. Uh, VOA's Laditsa Hoke has more. Boko Haram has killed about 400 civilians in northern Cameroon since last year. The group's brazen attacks in recent months have led the government to beef up its military presence in the region with backing from Chad, and public buildings throughout the capital Yaoundé have been fitted with metal detectors. It's a good initiative. It makes Cameroonians aware of what our country is going through. But many people have had enough of the violence and are trying to leave the country in the hope of a better life in Western Europe. Some don't make it, like this woman from Yaoundé who has been detained by coast guards in Libya. Why I left my country because of Boko Haram. Boko Haram is so disturbing us. So they kill our parents, they kill our brothers and sisters. That is the problem why I have to run from a country to find and give good education to, for my children and my husband. The Obama administration announced Wednesday it will deploy up to 300 military personnel to Cameroon for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance operations against Boko Haram insurgents. Cameroonians welcome the support. The decision to send American troops is very timely because it is support that will really help Cameroon. And beyond this support, we have to look at the entire front line. It's not just Cameroon receiving support. Some people question the motives for help. I can understand that such a crisis situation needs energy and responses that are adapted to the situation. But we must not forget that the states that come to help us have an interest in it. Neighboring Nigeria also has welcomed the U.S. decision to send troops to Cameroon and has asked other countries to follow suit in order to eradicate terrorism in the region. Slaritsa Hoke, VOA News, Washington.